Hi, welcome back to Science Rocks. My name is Jamie Height. I'm an instructional staff developer for science. We're here at Bay Point Elementary School in the science lab. Really cool this year, we've had science labs for five years for grades three through five. This year, boom, we brought on second grade. Let's go check out, see what these guys are doing. On the bottom of our paper we were working on yesterday, you took all these good measurements. And one team will time their car, and then we'll measure it, and then it'll be the turn for the next team. So the purpose of this particular lab was to uh, work with a wooden car. Armadillo table over here. They Everybody are else. rolling the okay. car down a ramp Go. and understanding and learning how to use a timer and how to measure distance using a tape measure in centimeters. So the whole lab is definitely revolves around using science tools and, and also making accurate measurements. Okay, Olivia, when I say go. Our lab manager is Ed, Ed and Alina. It's really cool because he has a whole week with the students here. So he can kind of break the lessons apart a little bit more for second grade. He can go a little bit deeper with some of the skills. He has a little bit more time to do measurement. Mr. Annalina, what's the difference between the second grade science labs and the grade levels three, four, and five? Oh, I'm glad you asked that. Every school should have a second grade lab because in this lab we teach them the fundamental skills that they need to be successful with science for the rest of their life actually. Measurement, and how to work with the tools of science. Wow, now we have to do some math. I've noticed how much they enjoy working with uh, tools to measure with, how engaged they get, a higher level of thinking, and um, it's also teaching them cooperation and to participate with each other and get a job done. 150. 150. Got it? Plus, plus 52. Oh. Well, it's been a lot of fun for the kids, and logistically it'd be very difficult to do in the classroom, so we're very fortunate that we can come here and have an actual science lab room that we can do the work, and the kids enjoy it. They don't realize how much they're learning because they're having so much fun as they're doing it. Down, stretch it out. We're going to go straight across. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, can you hold it down here? Oh, you got it? 78. Yeah, hold it down here. Yeah. Don't okay. move. Put your finger on it. 78. 78. Okay. Right. 78. 378. How oh, do you do that so fast? Easy. I can't Easy. hardly think Easy. about it. Now. Seven seconds and 300 and... So I saw one of the students with just really good math skills. He was able to... Um, instantly add up some of the measurement numbers. Um, so how does the lab help promote or help enhance those skills? Yeah, well that student was exceptionally good with uh, mental math. And if you noticed, what it did was stimulated the other kids around him to want to work and work with him and gain some of those skills themselves. Uh, they weren't just sitting at a desk doing a worksheet and uh, having him finish first. They were actually trying to compete with him. And then if you noticed, maybe you, you saw that they walked over and talked to him after. How did you do that? And he told them some of his strategies. We're having some fun here in the science lab. What did you learn today in the science lab? I learned that uh, by using a ramp in a car, um, our car went five rolled down five seconds and the distance of this with using centimeters was 246. The, what we used for the seconds was a timer and the distance roll was a measuring tape. And what did you learn today in the science lab? By seeing what centimeters that the car can go. Hi Kaylee, what did you learn in the science lab today? About cars that go fast and slow. Wow, that was just one of the labs the students in second grade are going to be completing this year. Um, the first lab they completed was the tree cookie lab where they measured the tree cookie and they measured the mass of the tree cookie. A little bit later, they're going to be working with volume, different shaped containers and noticing how different shapes containers using uh, liquids. And then the final lab is using thermometers, so they're going to be taking the temperatures of different things inside and then even taking the thermometers outside and taking temperatures in different locations. It's really cool, second grade science labs. It rocks. <laughs>